When working in the family editor, you can create parameters to control the family. These parameters can drive properties such as dimensions, materials, and visibility. You can also organize the parameters so that they display as you wish in the project environment. For example, select the storage unit on the wall. On the Modify, Furniture Systems contextual ribbon, in the Mode panel, click Edit Family to open the storage module in the Family Editor. Now, on the Create ribbon, in the Properties panel, click Family Types. Revit opens the Family Types dialog. Here, you can manage family types as well as parameters for the family. In the Name dropdown, you can see the types that are already created for the family. In this case, there is only one type. There are also parameters already created in this family for materials and finishes and dimensions. For each parameter, you can specify the value or enter a formula to control the value. You can also choose to lock the parameter. To add a new parameter, on the right side of the dialog, under Parameters, click Add. Revit opens the Parameter Properties dialog. In the Parameter Type section, you can see that there are two types of parameters that can be created family or shared parameters. Pay attention to the differences. Family parameters cannot appear in schedules or tags. Shared parameters, on the other hand, can be shared by multiple projects and families, exported to ODBC, and appear in schedules and tags. Therefore, family parameters are specific to the family in which they are created. Note that shared parameters are stored in an external file. As a result, they can be easily shared. In the Parameter Data section, you can control whether the parameter will be a type or instance property. Most dimension or finish information will be type parameters, so that the parameter will control all elements of that type. Recall that instance parameters only control the one instance. Additionally, you can specify a name and set the discipline for the parameter. In the Type of Parameter dropdown, you can control what type of parameter this will be. Some common types are length, text, area, angle, material, or yes no. But as you can see, there are many more. For example, Family Type allows you to swap out nested components, such as door handles. The Group Parameter Under List allows you to specify which section the parameter will appear in while in the Family Types dialog. You can also specify the instance or type properties of the family in the project environment. Lastly, you can click Edit Tooltip to open a dialog that you can use to input a tooltip. This can help other team members understand what the parameter was created for. Click Cancel to close the dialog. To use the Parameter Properties dialog effectively, you have to plan your parameter assignments carefully ahead of time. However, you can also create parameters as you go. Click Cancel to close the Parameter Properties dialog. You can also modify or remove parameters. However, be careful when doing this, as you may not know exactly how certain instances of the family are being used. Also in the Parameters section, you can use the Move Up and Move Down tools to change the order of parameters in each section. Simply select a parameter and move it up or down as needed. If you want to control the order of every parameter in each section, you can use the Ascending or Descending tools under Sorting Order. If you are working with a family that uses lookup tables, you can control the lookup table files. 
Under Lookup Tables, click Manage. This displays the Manage Lookup Tables dialog where you can import, export, and delete .csv files. Typically, only pipe and conduit fitting families will have lookup tables. Click Cancel to close this dialog, as well as the Family Types dialog. You can also associate family parameters to properties of elements within the family. For example, when you select the extrusion that represents the door of the storage module, the Properties palette populates with the instance properties of the element. Pay attention to the More buttons to the right of some of the values. Click the More button in the visible row. When you do, the Associate Family Parameter dialog appears. Now you can set the visibility of this object to a parameter. At present, there is not a yes-no parameter in the family, so click Add Parameter. This displays the same Parameter Properties dialog. But this time, the type of parameter is already set to yes-no and you cannot change it. Name this parameter Closed Front. Then expand the Group Parameter under List and choose Construction. Click OK to close each of the dialogs. Now open the Family Types dialog. As you can see, the new parameter appears under the Construction section. Since the parameter type was Yes-No, the value is a checkbox. You can use this parameter to create another family type. In the Family Types section, select Rename. In the Name dialog, enter Closed Front and click OK. Now verify that Closed Front is checked meaning that the door will be visible. Next, click New under Family Types. Name this type Open Shelf and click OK. Now clear Closed Front and click OK to close the dialog. Load this back into the project and make sure it functions properly. On the ribbon, select Load into Project. In the Family Already Exists dialog, select Overwrite the existing version. Now, with the wall unit selected, you can use the Type Selector to switch between the two types you created. Verify that the Closed type displays the door, and the Open type does not. 